Thank you for joining us. This tutorial will cover rounding the PCB. First, I'm going to change some colors in my design to make it easier to see. Choose the color button from the toolbar. Click off of power, bottom, paste mask, solder mask, and film layers. Select the net tab. I'm going to assign purple to 3.3 volts and blue to ground. Click the color and then click the net. Click OK. Next, I'm going to fan out all the ground and power traces. Either click Create Fan Out from the toolbar or go to Route and Create Fan Out. In Options, change the via direction to Outward. Click on the component with both pins connected to either power or ground. In the Find filter, uncheck Symbols and Find Only Pins. Fan out the remainder of ground and power pins. Right click and select done. We can now see that some of the traces on the IC have DRC errors. I'm going to adjust some of these vias in. Click the Etch Edit button on the toolbar. Just click and drag to move the via and the trace. The width of the trace is a little large for these pins. Select Edit and Change Objects. Check Line Width and type the desired width of your trace. Click on the traces to change the width. The DRC errors are now resolved. Right click and select Done. Choose Manual and Add Connect from the Design Workflow. I didn't add vias to all the power pins in U1. I'm going to connect the power traces. In the options, you will be able to see what net you are routing here. Set the angle to 45 if not already set. You can change the line width here at the beginning of the trace or at any point while routing. You can choose to shove or hug a trace, shove vias, smooth traces, and auto blank all other rats. Click each connection to place a trace. Now let's route our differential pair. Click on one of the traces for your differential pair. They will be routed together. I'm going to finish routing up the board. I'm going to try to make as many straight connections as possible. You can move components in your PCB when routing. Highlight a selection or click on the component to move. The via and trace will be moved and rotated with the component. I will not be adding any vias for routing, but if you need to add a via in your design, just right click and add via at any point in your trace. If you make a mistake while routing, right click and select Oops. I'm not going to worry too much right now about making these traces perfect since I can easily clean them up after routing is complete. Okay, everything is now routed. I'm going to clean up some of these traces. Click on the Etch Edit button on the toolbar. You can just slide the trace by clicking and dragging or use a smooth function. Select Route and Custom Smooth from the menu. Click on the trace you would like to smooth or highlight a selection. And PCB Editor will automatically smooth the trace. To double check all of your nets are routed, go to Check and Design Status. You can make sure all the components are placed and routed here. This completes the routing of our board. Join us in the next video where we will cover DRCs and preparing your board for manufacturing.